At the October 28th meeting, the Arlington City Council enacted an amended sidewalk ordinance prohibiting pedestrians from dispensing literature on the streets to motorists. The move is sure to draw legal challenges from members of Open Carry Tarrant County, who successfully sued the city in federal court on grounds that the restrictions passed in May were a violation of their free speech rights. When giving testimony before the unanimous city council vote, Jacob Cordova, an organizer for Open Carry Tarrant County, foresaw the outcome and said the group is up to the challenge. I just kind of got up there and told them that we were going to see them in federal court here soon. Uh, it's not often that a city is rebuked by a federal judge for violating a fundamental right in the Bill of Rights. But the city council members have taken the challenge as an opportunity to show just how disconnected they are from ordinary residents. With direction from the same legal counsel that cost them thousands in legal fees, they worked in closed executive session for months to craft the ordinance revisions. They haven't so much as given a courtesy call to open carry here in county that the ordinance was up for discussion, let alone seek input from any local organizations to be affected by the restrictions. Robert Harris, the Libertarian candidate for State House District 94, said it wasn't only gun rights supporters who would be affected. The ordinance is in violation of state law, state statutes, it's in violation of election code, election hearing laws in this state. And I hope you realize that as of tomorrow morning, Cole Baldwin's people will get ticketed and or arrested for what they're doing on the street. So will Tony Tenderhook's people who are campaigning. So will my people. Cordova said he didn't think the city council is responsive to public input. Citizens are making no moves right now, or no waves, I guess, with our voice. And, uh, you know, while we voiced our opinion, it feels like it gets us nowhere. The three speakers who addressed the ordinance before the vote all spoke against it. The revised ordinance prohibits pedestrians from entering the roadway at traffic light controlled intersections to pass out literature, even though they're allowed to cross the street at those intersections. Cordova didn't rule out civil disobedience. Yeah, we're, that, we don't plan on getting arrested for it. Okay. Uh, we're going to take it to court. Um, okay. However, if we do plan on getting arrested for it, it's, uh, we're going to talk to our attorneys, find out what the best advice is. And uh, you know what, if going down happens to be what our option is, I might have to go down for something.